Hello everybody and welcome to our program Languages of the World. Here we are once again for another episode of English and as usual we've got lots and lots of interesting stuff to talk about. Let me first welcome our guest Ms. Heba uh, Hani. Hello Ms. Heba Hi, and yes, welcome to the program. How's everything? Fine, welcome Hello. back. I've heard you've been to Germany recently. Yeah, actually, yes. Last week I have been to Germany. And we'll come back, uh, you too. Yeah? <laughs> you have been absent from the program for a while. So yeah, welcome back actually, to I've been too lazy to work. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back anyway. Thank you. So yeah, where okay. did you go in Germany? Actually, I went to three places. I went to a place called uh, Klaustel, uh -huh. and I went to Gosler, and I went to Berlin. Yeah, so yes. was it uh, for tourism? Ah, yeah, for tourism, mm. yes, actually, for tourism. Yeah. But actually, I went to Germany and, and went also to Prague and uh, Vienna. Yeah, so... so it, it was a tour, yes. Mm -hmm. It was... Uh, nice. N a nice change of air, of course. Yeah, actually, everything, because in Germany now, they are, uh, although they are in July, mm -hmm. but it's cold and rainy. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine it, going from the hot to the uh, cold. Was it the first time for you to go there? Yeah, it's the first time, mm. actually. Yeah, you went with your family. Course. Ah, yes, sure. Yeah. Yes. So, how, how was it? How was the weather? Is it as hot as here? No, uh, maybe a little bit, uh, but not, not in Germany. Germany is a kind of cold. No, it's not that hot. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it was nice, but it was rainy and sometimes it was cold up on the mountains. Yeah, what about the people there? Actually, yes, I wanted to comment on the people because a lot of people say here in Egypt that the German people are kind of, you know, serious, mm -hmm. stiff. Yeah. And they are so like they're strict. Actually, no, not at all. They are very kind and uh, smiley and friendly. Mm -hmm. Not in the governmental areas or uh, those people who are doing their work or mm -hmm. their job. No, but in the street, in the place, in the cafes, in the restaurants, uh, the normal people are nice and friendly and helpful, by the way, yeah. like the Egyptian it's people. It's widely known that uh, the German people don't like to speak English, even That's if they know right. the language. That's right. And this was a major problem. Uh -huh. I faced that the uh, German people, they don't speak English, only few people speak English. And if they, st if they speak English, they speak it not like us. Mm -hmm. They speak it in a few words and uh, they are so weak in speaking they English. They take a great pride in the language. That's right. And mm -hmm. also, if you imagine, the TV channels also are all in German, mm -hmm. nothing in English. Really? Really. Even the English uh, episodes or the English movies, not, not even they are in English and have uh, German subtitles, no. But, but they I, are I sometimes watch here the Deutsche Villa, the Deutsche Villa uh, broadcast in English as well sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I didn't see it, but all the, all the channels in uh, both Vienna and, Ger and Germany uh, were in German. I hope you had a nice vacation there. I hope so. Yes, I had a nice vacation and I hope to go back again, inshallah. But actually, I wanted to comment on this, that we, pe we Egyptian people are very good in English. Yeah. So get uh, to, be, to be proud about this. And by the way, the, the German people uh, also speak English very well, but they don't like to speak it. I mean, they know the language, but they don't like to use it. Maybe the educated people, yes, they are. Uh, but the people I met... No, they didn't know how to speak English, actually. Mm -hmm. yes, so you didn't. had a, a pretty tough time dealing with them. <laughs> well, you not didn't that learn tough. any German? Not yet, but oh. I'm going to do it. Uh -huh. But not, not that tough time. It, it was nice because they are nice people. So uh -huh. we, uh, we communicated in the general language of, uh, of the universe. Yeah, uh, the being body friendly. language. Yeah, body <laughs> language. Yeah, body language. So, uh, yes, we Egyptians, we know uh, English very well, by the way. Mm -hmm. Even the school students, mm -hmm. they know English better than any other country. Mm -hmm. So, get, be proud about this. But still, we have to learn English more. Yeah. And we have to practice it. Uh, yes. You need to practice it a Always. lot uh, because, you know, without practice... Uh, yeah, for example, yeah. if you go to America or anyone, uh, any country of the speaking English countries, Maybe you will be like me, lost yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> in a strange country. Okay, I hope next time you go to an English-speaking country so I that you have, so. Uh, you know, uh, you find it easy to communicate. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right, so w w what are you going to... Uh, we are back to English. Yeah, back yes. to English, Yanni. What do you have for us today? Actually, today we have a little, um, a short uh, tour in uh, the USA or in America. Uh, we will start by uh, Hawaii. Very nice place for yeah. vacation nowadays. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, if you but have it's very expensive. If you have enough money, I was yeah. <laughs> gonna say, <laughs> if you have enough money, you could you'd go to Hawaii or just uh, watch the presentation with us or watch the movie yeah. with us. And also, we have a little bit of information about Disney, Walt Disney. Mm -hmm. And of course, we all know Walt Disney and his uh, cartoon characters. So it would be a nice thing to know about America today. Yeah, but I hope you uh, prepare for us something about Germany, the country you visited. Maybe next time. Yeah. Yes, uh, good and tell idea. us about your experience there, because I'm sure that you've, uh, you know, uh, you've been or you've come across a lot of interesting situations. Uh, yes, actually, I have been, and also it's not very nice when you travel to write your journals. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, what you had, experience and everything. So a journal means like a diary, muzakkarat. So whenever you go any place, any new place, uh, write your journal so that you will not uh, forget anything. Yeah. So when you come back, you can tell your friends, you can give them their, your experience. And I'm sure you've had lots yeah, okay, of next interesting time. snapshots. Okay, next time right? I'll get you, uh, you, had, you had some snapshots. <laughs> something a lot. A lot, a of lot. course. Yeah. Of course. Okay, so next time, really, I'm gonna get you something about Germany to have the tour with me again. Yeah. And some interesting things. And if you events. don't mind, show us your pictures there. Of course, well. why not? Yeah. Of course, so next time, inshallah. Okay. So let us start with Hawaii today. Yeah. And Hawaii, well, Hawaii, you know that it's a, tro a, a lot of islands, not just one island. Mm -hmm. Hawaii is some islands. Okay. So, how did Hawaii get its name? Uh, actually, the word Hawaii is from the proto Polynesian Hawaii. This is a word uh, Hawaii, meaning place of the gods. So they named Hawaii uh, the place of the gods or homeland. Hawaii state's nickname is Aloha State. So Hawaii has a nickname, oh, it's Madala, it's Aloha State. And if, if you have heard the word Aloha before, yeah. it means hello yeah. or welcome. Because the word aloha is one of the most commonly used words in Hawaiian language. They use aloha a lot. Based on the context, it's used in many meanings. Like, for example, hello, welcome, love, best wishes, or even goodbye. Mm -hmm. So they use aloha in many uh, meanings. Uh, goodbye and hello, both, okay, and good words like love and best wishes. Okay, uh, the, uh, of course, Hawaii has a capital. Uh, it's a state, so the state has a capital, and its capital is Honolulu. Yeah. So, have you heard about this before? Of we course. all have heard before. Honolulu. Yeah, uh, and it is uh, state number 50 in mm -hmm. America, and as we said, its nickname is Aloha State. The official language there is English and Hawaiian, so they have their uh, own language. native mm -hmm. language, which is Hawaiian, but of course they speak English. This is the flag of Hawaii. They have their own flag also. Mm -hmm. um, it represents the eight main islands of Hawaii. These strips, they represent the eight main islands of Hawaii. So Hawaii consists of eight main islands. Mm -hmm. um, well, the Union Jack honoring Hawaii's long relationship with the British. Uh, here we have the British flag, and this is kind of honoring a long relationship with the British. Mm -hmm. Here is some things about this state. They have a no, uh, the native fish, the reef trigger fish, a trigger fish, and they have their bird, snin. So they have their uh, own uh, kind of bird and fish. The flower is the hibiscus, of course, but not the red hibiscus as we know it. It is yellow hibiscus. There is exquisite nature yes, over there. Yes, of course, there. because it's kind of tropical. Mm -hmm. And also they have a song of the state. It's called... Hawaii Bonai. These are nice facts about it. Mm -hmm. Hawaii is the only state of the U.S. that is not geographically located in North America. Mm -hmm. It is not geographically in North America. Uh, they grow coffee there. They have a royal palace. Could we say it's occupied by the U.S.? Excuse me? Could we say it's occupied ah, yes, by of the course. U.S.? Of course, it's occupied. First, it was occupied by the British and then by the U.S.A. And they have uh, their king, by the way, and they have royalty. So this is different from the democratic uh, rest of the states. It's completely surrounded by water and is n doesn't have a straight line in each state boundary. So in the boundaries, it doesn't, it's not in a straight line. Mm -hmm. The history of Hawaii. The islands were discovered by the Polynesians. 
who gave them the name Hawaii. Polynesians were people, old people, who discovered Hawaii as an island. And the Hawaiians were people without writing. They had no writing system. They just preserved their history in chants and legends. Chants like Anashid and legends in here, Asatir Ahawadit. When Captain Cook discovered Hawaii in 1778, he renamed them the Sandwich Islands. Yani, Sammehum the Sandwich Islands. I have no idea why. Maybe they are like a sandwich or an island between two islands. They didn't mention. In 1817, coffee was first planted. So they first planted coffee in 1817. In 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. The U.S. entered World War II. Of course, this is related more to the USA, but of course, as a state in the USA, Hawaii was involved. In 1900, Hawaii became a United States territory. So after this, uh, before this, Hawaii territory was a territory. Is, land. is a land, yes. When they have colonies there, but they became related to the United States. Mm -hmm. Then in 1959, Hawaii became the fifth state. So first, the United States took Hawaii as a territory, then it became a state. The first jet arrived. The age of tourism began. So when Hawaii became a state of America, uh, the first airplane or the first plane or the first jet or the first flight arrived to Hawaii. Hawaii was kind of primitive island. Mm -hmm. But by the U.S., uh, they became a touristic uh, attraction place. The age of tourism in Hawaii started. America's only royal residence, Ayolani Palace, is built on Oahu. This is a palace, Asr, okay, and it's built in Oahu, an island in Hawaii. James Cook's log describing the natives as riding the ocean's waves on wooden boards. Okay, from where we got the surfing uh, sport in America, actually from the Hawaiians, because when, uh, when James Cook uh, this, uh, uh, got, uh, got there, he described the people, the natives, as riding the ocean's waves on wooden boards. This is what is surfing all about. Mm -hmm. uh, president Franklin Delino Roosevelt arrived. He was the first United States president to visit Hawaii. So Roosevelt was the first one to visit Hawaii. The first Hawaii constitution of the kingdom was established, and then the first Hawaiian flag was seen. So. Uh, in 1816, we had the Hawaiian flag, so the flag was before uh, American, uh, the Americans got it. Okay, then Prince, this is nice. Uh, this is uh, the name of the Prince, Prince Lihulihu, abandoned the ancient taboo of eating with women. So why they had a taboo that, peop that the, ma the, the men would not eat with women, but at that time, this Prince was kind of modern one and he forgot about this uh, ancient uh, taboo or ancient uh, custom mm -hmm. and he started eating with women mm -hmm. equal to men. Uh -huh. yani yes, yes, yes it's like a t it was a, uh, tribes, mostly mm -hmm. tribes in uh, Hawaii of course. We have some celebrities from Hawaii uh, like uh, these people like Nicole uh, Cherzinger, she's a pop star. We have Fred Hemmings, mm -hmm. is a surf champion, Ashley, Lily. I, I wonder if they have any movies. Well, they have celebrities from the movie stars. Yeah. And these are uh, Kwano Reeves, he is from Hawaii. Uh, and we have Nicole Kidman. She has, uh, although Nicole Kidman is uh, Australian, I think, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, she has a state of Hawaii birth certificate. She has a birth certificate from Hawaii. And believe it or not, Barack Obama, mm -hmm. he, the president of the United States of America, is from... The ex-president. The ex, <laughs> <laughs> the ex actually, yes. <laughs> okay, let us not talk in politics. But yes, ex-president, uh, uh, he was from Hawaii. Then we come to the culture. I mean, he has, he has roots from there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because... Yeah, he he's African, I know. Yeah. But maybe he has roots, he was born there, mm -hmm. but he has... As they say, he maybe has... something has to do with his mother, for example. Yes, maybe. But maybe he has because a state uh, of Hawaii his, birth certificate. His father was from Kenya. Yes. Uh, but he has some relation to Hawaii. Then the culture, the hula. Uh, this is a Hawaiian icon. It is an image of swaying. Uh, 
hips and graceful hands and colorful costume. You know the people who are dancing? Yeah. This is the, uh, the yeah, this is swaying. This is icon, Hawaiian yeah. icon. This is called the hula. Yeah. Then the spirit of aloha. Aloha is the most Hawaiian word as we say. This is a word that is used and it is also again means hello or goodbye or or love. Mm -hmm. This is the surfing as we said as we said it started in Hawaii. This is surfing. It is Oahu South Shore is perfect for beginning surfers. So this uh, shore in Oahu, in uh, the island Oahu, is perfect for beginning surfing. Hawaii had the most surfers in the world. Of course, they discovered it. Mm -hmm. Then we come to the alphabet, and we said that they don't have a writing system. Sure. But they kind of started a writing system just to communicate. They have the shortest alphabet in the world, only of the letters. E, A, 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 and E, and I, and O, and U, mostly vowels, as we can say, as we can see here. Then the H is a semi-vowel also, the K, the L, M, N, P, and W, and W also is kind of semi-vowel. Uh, the, the H and K, and L, M, and N, and P are like in English, the same pronunciation, but their A is like uh, A in far, so it is A. The E like in bat, so it is uh only. The I like the Y in city, so it is like semi Y. Not a problem if you no. go there because they All speak vowels. English. They speak you English, know. of course. Yeah. And the O like O in soul, like O. And U like the O in moon, so their U is O. So this is their writing system. Very simple. Uh -huh. what in what's interesting about Hawaii here, they have the, li the highest life expectancy in the United States. Life expectancy for males is 75, for females 80 years. No pollution, of course. Yes, of course. So we have good life, healthy life, so the, uh, they have the highest life expectancy. Mm -hmm. And then they tell us aloha, which is goodbye, and this is the end of yeah, Hawaii. So yes. Aloha is uh, uh, high and high goodbye. and goodbye. <laughs> yeah. And love, affection, mm -hmm. very nice people. And this is Just their like icon. Just like the Italian ciao. Yeah. Ciao in Italian is high and goodbye. And peace mm -hmm. also. Very nice. I love Hawaii. Yeah. Would you like to go? <laughs> I'd love to, <laughs> uh, yeah. but I can't afford it. <laughs> yeah, and it's very hot by the way. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yes. so uh, why don't you go uh, next time to Hawaii instead of Germany? Well, actually. I, I prefer uh, countries with culture. Mm -hmm. not, uh, I'm not that funny person who loves fun on the beach. No, I love to go to mm -hmm. historical sites. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, so uh, let's move to Walt Disney. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, but I guess uh, our director has something to show us before. Yes. Let us see something about Hawaii before we move to Walt Disney. You, you still have something here to no, show us about Hawaii? No. This is enough for Hawaii. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's now talk about uh, Walt Disney, but we'll stop for a short break, we'll watch something about it, and we'll be back. Uh, so, uh, that was a, a nice cartoon. I love cartoons, by the way. Yeah, of course, mm -hmm. all of us love cartoons. Mm -hmm. Even the adults love cartoons because they kind of, uh, you know, you live in another world mm -hmm. of a of uh, possible and impossible things. I love cartoons. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, even adults love it, and <laughs> especially in France. I noticed that there are lots and lots of comic books in, uh, ah. in French. Yes. Right now. You know, and uh, for adults, <laughs> yes, not just right. for kids. Yes, a nice, uh, a nice uh, piece of observation because I noticed that, um, you know, these characters of Walt Disney like Mickey, like uh, mm -hmm. uh, Donald Duck, uh, they don't have comics in English mm -hmm. as they have it in French. Yeah. Yes, so you yeah, are because totally the French right. Are interested, so I've been much looking, interested, yeah. I've been looking mm -hmm. for comics, uh, Disney yeah. comics mm -hmm. in English. I didn't find any. I yeah. always find them in French. You hardly find any. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, for myself, but I didn't. But you can find them. You know, if maybe, may, maybe if you if you, you look for, if for it elsewhere, not in maybe. Egypt. Maybe, but uh, when uh, wherever I have uh, searched, I didn't find. If you find some uh, something, please tell yeah. me. I have some comic books in different in languages, in English and French. You found it? Yeah. So great. Bec in America, they prefer to uh, make comics on uh, you know 
Spider-Man, yeah. uh, Marvel, these uh, uh, heroes, mm -hmm. but, but not about all Disney. Yeah. All right. This is interesting. You know, we've uh, been brought up uh, to, to read and watch, you know. Yeah, the comics. Car yes, of course. Co comics or cartoons. Yes. Yeah. And especially Walt Disney. You know, Walt Disney was one of uh, the best, and he, he was the one who started all of these uh, cartoon mm -hmm. uh, things. And uh, a lot of characters, of his characters, are great. Which, you, which one is your favorite, by the way? Uh, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Why? I don't like him. No, I like him because I, 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 I used to I used to love him when I was a kid. So I prefer Donald yeah. Duck actually. And I used also to read uh, comic uh, comics about him. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, it's kind of very smart. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's I don't mind Donald Duck as uh, as well. Yeah. Um, I don't mind any other cartoon, by the way. Yes. Uh, but uh, this is the one that I love. Your best. favorite. Yeah, my favorite. What about you? Uh, Donald Duck, definitely, yeah. and any, his family. Any other characters? Uh, maybe uh, the, the grandma. Mm -hmm. uh, I like her. Okay, it's Donald Duck and all his family. I love them. And I, I maybe love uh, the gang. Yeah. I can love the gang, yes. Yeah. What about Donald Trump? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Again with politics. Yeah, let's not talk about <laughs> politics. <laughs> no. right. But yeah, Donald Duck is kind of, he is, he's not stupid, but he's so lazy. And he yeah. is so uh, nervous. He, he makes a lot of fun and he a lot of uh, comic situations. Mm -hmm. So now Donald is my favorite. Uh, do you uh, like to show your kids uh, some they cartoons? I think they prefer the comics. Yeah, another word for cartoons is animation. Animation movies. Yeah. Yeah, actually yes. Uh, now animation also include the movies uh, that are done by graphics in, mm -hmm. on the computer, uh, but uh, the main interest is the cartoons. Well, my kids. When they were young, uh, they loved, of course, cartoons because it is a healthier way to teach your kids uh, how to behave and how to be good, and also the English language if you want them to yeah, be good. Yeah, but some movies are now, naughty. I was going to say yeah. this. Uh, now, in the past, all the cartoons were kind of nice and teaching good uh, things, but now they are... Well, yeah. the cartoons are, are, are not that Changing good. Changing direction. Changing, yes, direction. So it is uh, actually the responsibility of the parent to choose the good mm -hmm. things for their children mm -hmm. and not to see anything because some cartoons... So nothing is totally safe. Of course, nothing is totally safe. It's uh, the way we use it mm -hmm. and how uh, to choose it. So mm -hmm. you, know, you have to control this, parental mm -hmm. control. Yeah. But of course, they love Donald Duck as me. Mm -hmm. So we all love Donald. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, but uh, actually, uh, um, what I um, feel pity about is that most of these cartoons, or the greatest ones, are, uh, you know, are made elsewhere. Not here. We're not good at this art. Well, yes, you have the right to say so, because these cartoons need a lot of technology, and actually, we lack technology here mm -hmm. in Egypt. And most of the people who want to study uh, about making cartoons and animation, they have to go abroad. Mm -hmm. And of course, not all people can afford this. Mm -hmm. So yes, we, uh, we can pity this, but hopefully they can bring their stu stu uh, study, studies and experience back to uh, here Egypt and start doing something nice. Hopefully. All right, uh, I guess we've come to the end of our program, so I'd like to thank you very thank much, Ms. Yes, Heba, for being with us. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Uh, time flew actually, but I hope uh, you've had a nice episode with us and until we meet you again, wish you all the best. Bye-bye.